Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, family of God. I want to remind you something today of what our vision and mission as a church is. It is to lead families to connect to God, grow in their walk with Christ and others, serve in ministry, and go to the lost. And I want to say that yesterday as we connected our hearts together spiritually, uh, it was a wonderful time uh, as we were able to worship together and then as we were able to uh, have Sunday school together. And I enjoyed so much the Zoom technology that let us see each other as Sunday school members and, and uh, all of those things that got to happen yesterday. It, it just reminded me that our mission has not changed one bit because of unusual circumstances that we're living in, unusual days that we're living in, I think everybody can say uh, that we've never seen anything like this, because we haven't. Uh, and hope that once we get through it, we won't ever see the likes of it again. But uh, in the midst of all that, our mission has not changed. And the reason is because uh, Christ's mission hasn't changed. God's mission hasn't changed. People wonder, well, what's, what's God up to these days? Well, the same as he was yesterday, today, and will be tomorrow. And that is the work of redeeming a lost and dying world to his son Christ, that we might spend eternity with him. Are there worse things than the coronavirus? Well, it's difficult for us to uh, draw those comparisons these days, but yes, there is worse things than coronavirus. And that's to, uh, is to die without knowing Jesus Christ as our Savior. That is our mission, that we get that word out. So I uh, want we'll to say a special word of thanks to all of you Sunday school uh, teachers and workers and, and members that joined together yesterday. We just heard of class after class that were doing that and more classes that are wanting to know how to do that so that uh, you can combine together. Uh, I, I was amused in my class that we went through the lesson, and when the lesson was completed, uh, we discovered that we had some unlimited time we didn't know we had on Zoom, and so the real fellowship began to happen. And uh, some of that uh, stuff that we do, trash talking and just laughing and and that went on for several minutes. And I thought, this is the fellowship of Sunday school. So uh, thank you for all that uh, helped make that happen. Uh, thank you to uh, uh, Ben Matson, who has been so helpful in getting the services out to everyone. Thank you to Stephanie and thank you to Brother Brett for helping make that all happen. Just so many that uh, I would leave somebody out if I didn't name everybody. I want to say a special thank you to all the volunteers that uh, have put your name on a list, that if we need to call you, that you're ready to go and, and uh, do those uh, things that our, our congregation and community needs doing. And especially because I know that if we call on you, it doesn't matter whether a family is a member of our church or not, you, you're still going to respond and go help those folks that out. I want to uh, continue to encourage you to do the social distancing thing. It is critical, and uh, we've been asked to, to practice that, and so I just encourage you to continue those practices and use all the sanitary things, wash your hands, uh, do those things that is necessary to to help us get through this, this time until they can find a medicine to treat it and a vaccine uh, that can protect us from it. Uh, we're gonna make it through. We are gonna make it through. Uh, I wanna encourage you also to continue to look at the different ways that you can worship God by making an offering and giving your tithes and offerings to the church. Uh, there are still needs that, uh, that exist and so uh, just look at those in the different uh, emails that we send to you. This morning as I was looking in the scripture 
I'm reading through Habakkuk. Now, if you haven't read through Habakkuk lately, it's not a fun book to read because it's pretty dismal. You have the prophet saying, uh, crying out to the Lord, what are you up to? And the Lord said, well, I'll show you what I'm up to. And then as you read through the, the book, it, it's just not a pretty picture uh, that uh, the prophet has to give to the children of Israel. But whenever he closes the book out, when he closes the book out, he gives these words that I hope and pray that become the attitude and the thoughts of all of our hearts. And he says these things. Though the fig tree does not bud, and there is no fruit on the vines, though the olive crop fails and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stalls, Yet I will triumph in the Lord. I will rejoice in the God of my salvation. Yahweh, my Lord, is my strength. He makes my feet like those of a deer and enables me to walk on mountain heights. I came into this world in 1954. At a time when... Uh, West Texas was not overly concerned in New Mexico and Colorado and Kansas and some of those areas. They, they were not overly concerned with the polio uh, plague that was uh, going across the land as, as they were the drought that they were going through. Elmer Kelton read, wrote a book based on those times and he titled the book, The Time It Never Did Rain. And they were going through some very difficult times. I was sharing with someone earlier this morning that uh, some of the ranchers would uh, get their propane tanks and their propane burners and burn the little thorn needles off a prickly pear so the cows could eat the prickly pear and get some kind of food and nourishment in them. Those were difficult times, and uh, we faced difficult times in all kinds of ways. Uh, I, I hear the talk of the Great Depression and World War II time that uh, followed on the heels not too long after World War I, and, and all the difficulties that people had to face. And there were times, just like in the days of Habakkuk. They're not fun to talk about, they're not fun to read, and uh, they're certainly not fun to go through. But God is still God, and he is in heaven, and his mission, I assure you, has not changed. His mission of redeeming a lost and dying world to himself. I want to lead us in a time of prayer. Father, we just thank you that you love us. Lord, we thank you that you've called us to join you in this work and this mission. And Lord, as we're having to discover new ways to do it uh, that seem in some aspects less personal, uh, help us to utilize what you've given us, what you've allowed us to bring into place with all of our technology to continue reaching out and bringing lost people to you because there is something worse than the COVID-19 crisis, and that's the sin crisis of every one of our hearts. As your word instructed us last week in telling us that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, but through Jesus Christ, by your grace, God, through faith, we can be justified. And we can know your peace, that peace that resides through trials and tribulations and builds character and gets that word out even further to lost people. God, you commended your love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Thank you, Lord, for that. And 
help us to draw close to you as we continue to navigate through these unusual days. In your name I pray, Lord Jesus. Amen.